Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Dan. Together we are the Office Blokes. Yeah, do you recognise mm. us? I don't know. I don't recognise you or you. Oh, right. Who are you? Don't you know who I am? Ronnie Pickering. Ronnie Pickering. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you got to be. Yeah, um, you can win this t-shirt if you want. Remind or oh, yeah? let me know if I'm wrong, but the competition was to go to our Family Guy British jokes, Brit jokes yeah. yep. and just comment British and be subscribed to the channel. Yep. Is that right? That's yep. all you have to do? Yep. Yeah. Simple. There you go, and you can win that ridiculously, um, just ridiculous T-shirt. What's it say, Mike? £1.50. Oh. <laughs> T-shirt porn. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, make sure you do that, and um, we'll announce a winner by the end of this week, I guess. I think that should be fine. Yeah. Right then, when celebrities don't get recognised. This is great, these. Done one of these before, haven't we? We have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think you know they can get, can get fairly offended, I think, some celebrities can't, some of them because can, they love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But imagine, like, you're just so used to everyone recognising you everywhere you go. And yeah. any interaction, you're just thinking that people are thinking of you as that famous person. Mm. And then you get treated normal. Yeah, I've, you... sat, I've sat with a guy who was very <clears throat> famous, and I, I didn't know who he was. Yeah. And uh, we got chatting about something, and it turns out he told me who he was, and I'm like, I still didn't know who he was. <laughs> <laughs> still like, nope. <laughs> nice. Well, let's uh, get into this when celebrities don't get recognised. With celebrities getting recognized everywhere they go, for some anonymity might be a nice change of pace, and for others a major blow to the ego. When six foot nine LeBron James walked in with a stack of pizzas from the kitchen at Blaze Pizzeria, people were extremely confused because it wouldn't make sense to actually be him. And well, others mm. just straight up had no idea who he was. What's going on, man? How you doing? <laughs> Everyone's just scared of getting it wrong. Because and I if also you go think this is the one we've seen. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've seen this clip. Oh, this clip, right? Yeah, but this but video, you know, this video is a day old. A lot, so of, yeah. a lot of stuff you do is context, yeah, sort of thing. So you, yeah. you wouldn't expect to see LeBron James, where you think that guy looks like LeBron. No, if you've got a camera following you, then you might think. Yeah. But if the camera's hidden, you know, it's just someone in yeah. a pizza area. Or you just think like, he looks like such yeah. a body, wouldn't you? Yeah, spitting image, wouldn't you? Yeah, you don't yeah. think that's him because why would it be? Why would it be? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd also be scared so of saying it because yeah, the guy would go, "What you think I look like LeBron James?" Because. Sean Mendez was having some alone time at a coffee shop when he was approached to take a video. At first, he said no until he was told it was not actually a video of him. You might know, hold this phone. I'm gonna, uh, I want to do a video for my mom. You just hold it. No, I'm sorry, bro. No, you good? No, I'm sorry. You, you won't be in it. Oh, for this video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Where are you going? You're not the best one. Ready? Orlando Bloom is a famous English actor that's been seen in some of the most well-known movies like... Be honest here though, would you know who Shawn Mendes was? No. No. No, me neither. No, I wouldn't have, have recognised him in a million Even years. If you show me a picture and said, who's that? I'd yeah. be like, no. Nope. I've heard the name. Yeah, same. I, I, I yeah. wouldn't have recognised him. He's a singer, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've heard some oh, of his songs on the radio yeah, and stuff. Yeah, but, yeah it, just not, it just looks like some guy just sat having a coffee, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. But that was classic though. No, no, no. You don't have to be in it. Oh, just you. Because <laughs> I have no idea who you are, mate. <laughs> like Lord of the Rings. But apparently Billie Eilish had no idea who he was when Katy Perry introduced him, only to find afterwards from her friends who he was. Guys, that was him? Yeah, that's him. That was him? It's really nice. No way. I wouldn't know anything about that. Bring him back. I want to meet him again. A humbling moment for Jennifer Lopez happened when she went to visit her childhood home with a TV crew, expecting to be recognized and get a whole moment out of it. But the man currently living in the house didn't seem too amused. Jennifer? Yeah, I used to live upstairs, and then my room was upstairs right there. Jennifer Lopez. Who's Jennifer Lopez? Me. I used to live here. Okay, maybe this is not recognized. Uh, Jenny from the block. Jenny from the block. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> In a different way. But film director Sam Mendes got overshadowed by Leonardo DiCaprio when Titanic actress Kate Winslet was giving her best actress speech in 2009. Two incredible men who are such special people in my world. And Leo, I'm so happy I can stand here and tell you how much I love you and how much I've loved you for 13 years. <laughs> I love you with all my heart, I really do. And my husband, Sam, thank you for directing this film, babe. <laughs> and the whole Cleveland Cavaliers had to resort to the NYC subway to get- I'm glad wow. that was a bit, because yeah. I was like, that's, that's so overacted. Oh, it? just a yeah. bit to the arena on time, a commuter wasn't very happy. Hey, what's the question? What's the question? I don't know this dude right here. He tripping. 
Maybe not. not. <laughs> a biker at a light turned to check the vehicle next to him to see Shia LaBeouf just dead staring at him. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I got earplugs in, but I'm good one. Despite being in one of the biggest TV shows in history, Amelia Clark somehow tends to blend in with people much more than her co-stars, and even told Conan that she's often the one asked to take the pictures. I'll be walking with Kit Harrington, plays Jon Snow, or Gwen, or something like that, and they will be people will be like, oh, can you take this picture for us? And I'm like, sure, definitely I can, sure I can. I'll go into the like, I'll be like, Kit, just be one minute, I'm just gonna go into the loo, and then I'll hear these girls being like, who is that girl that he's with? And I'm like, hey, <laughs> it's me. Comedian Jerry Seinfeld is known for being a germaphobe and is not. We've definitely seen this clip. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. So is it Katy Perry or someone comes up to him? I don't think it's Katy Perry, but Katie someone, someone, someone tries like to that, hug him or something yeah. and he's yeah. just like, nope, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Not a fan of physical contact with others. So when famous singer Kesher ran up to him asking Kesher, for a hug, yeah. she was turned down and he didn't know who she was either. Kesher, I love you so much. Oh, thanks. Can I give you a hug? No, thanks. Please? No, thanks. A little one. Yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> that was a nice moment. I don't know who that was. Yeah, it was Kesha. Okay. Well, I wish you the best. Adam Sandler took his daughter to the local IHOP on a busy Sunday morning, and the waitress didn't recognize him. So when she told him there was a 40 minute wait, he left. And well, people gave him props for not pulling the celebrity card. And later, IHOP organized a charity all you can drink milkshakes event after finding out what happened. L. Fanning might have. Fair play, Jim. Should he get priority service, no. though? No. no. Uh, not really, no. That's and he seems like the sort of guy that wouldn't want priority because well, he's famous. I think because you've alluded to it in the past about, I think if you're a regular somewhere and you spend a lot of money, then sometimes you might get the odd favour yeah. thrown in. It's can yeah. find a bit of space for you and do you've your got bit of favour. You've got to look after your regulars because yeah, if you got that day when you're quiet and they're coming in. Yeah, if you've got regular customers, I, I you know I get that absolutely. But if he's yeah. just popping in there, and he's not pulling the celeb card, then you know no. fair play to him. Then I don't think you should then. Yeah, you've you definitely know. got to look after your regulars. Don't care what anyone's money's money. Don't matter who's paying for it. Yeah, absolutely, it? their money's no better than anyone else's. Right, correct. So. But no one else dresses like that. In no, no, I was going to so say that. You recognize, you'd recognize him just from what he's got on. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to look at his face. <laughs> They've shown some sociopathic tendencies on the Conan show when she revealed that she likes to make up lives when getting in an Uber. I don't know who I am, and I just find that fascinating so i go in i kind of make up careers or like stories to tell the uber driver so i totally just like lied to them yeah yeah you're a sociopath i think yeah. it's a when it comes no to celebrity ways. sites no. a lift is the last place you'd think of seeing one that's why a demi lovato fan did not recognize her despite already having met her in the past and her reaction when she found out is hilarious i actually met demi lovato too one time was she nice yeah, she was super, super, super nice. Well, it's good to see you again. Yeah, you have a... Oh my God! Oh my fucking God! Oh my God! But Demi Lovato wasn't the only one not recognized when driving for Lyft, with Shaq being able to catch some people off guard with his costume. Full <laughs> well, free throws, spread your fingers out, and then follow through, watch your nails, and I want you to do your nails. So you just learned from the greatest free throw coach of all time. <laughs> <laughs> when Selena Gomez was being driven to the hotel from the airport, the driver had no idea who she was or why so many people were surrounding her at the airport. And well, during the drive, they had a good conversation and Selena Gomez made a sweet video for the man's daughter. I'm speaking to this amazing man right now and I just wanted to tell you I love you and I hope everything's going well. Okay. Say, what do I say? Yeah, I'm, I'm... You don't know my name. No. Just say I'm... it. Say, say, Selena. And? Selena Gomez. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's epic. I didn't, I didn't want you to know no, my name. No, I named Gomez, man. I, I, I made in my mind Gomez. At Adele's birthday party, she... It's not normal to be known by millions of people, is it? When you think about it. No, but there's no, a lot... There's... No, I suppose not. The only one, the only time I've spotted someone where I've not known, well, there's a few times where I've not known who they were, but I got in a lift once. I've told this story once before. I got in an elevator in uh, in the USA, and Gaynor looked at me, and she went, the guy next to me, and I looked at the guy next to me, and I'm like, I don't know who he is. Hmm. She's going, I'm going. <laughs> don't know one of them. The guy's just stood there, so like looking straight ahead. And then when he got, he got out of the elevator, and I was at, I got out, well, when, when the doors closed again, Gaynor went, you know who that was, don't you? And I went, no. She went, Derek Jeter. And I went, oh, what? Yeah, I went, no, that. no, it wasn't. She went, it was. Mm. Yeah. So we got out and we went back down because we're in the mall. Yeah. I went back down the floor thinking I'll probably never see him again, see if it wasn't anyway. So it was him. <laughs> I went, you know, how have I not spotted a sports yeah. person? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I felt like proper like, you know. <laughs> it just seems so 
hard to navigate as someone who's got millions and millions of fans where you make you look like a dick if you expect people to know who mm. you are and then when you don't expect people to know who you are you get caught off guard and it's yeah. like there doesn't seem to be a template to be able to figure out what to do properly yeah. when you're mega famous you know yeah. to like Selena Gomez levels yeah. but I probably wouldn't recognise who she is I wouldn't I know a name yeah same I know a name I think an everyday situation probably yeah. wouldn't Mm. You know, if you're in certain circumstances where you think celebrities may be, then you might see someone like that. You yeah. might think, oh, she, well, she's famous. She look or looks famous. Yeah. But if you're just walking through like a mall or something like that, say, yeah, you wouldn't recognise them. Probably would you? a lot of them. But in the pub, in the pub we go in, we, we see quite a lot of celebrities in there. Whether mm. it's yeah. sports people or actors or actresses. So I think a lot of the time, someone says to me, you know, we, one guy come over and gain and give him a hug. He's he was one of our Aiden's mates. <laughs> <laughs> he was an actor on one of the shows. Oh man, <laughs> have you seen the clips of like? TikTok stars, and I say that loosely, you yeah. know, where people are giving him shit in the street and they're like, Don't you know who I am? No. And it's like they've got a million followers on TikTok or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, that doesn't mean anyone knows who you no. are. No. It's, it doesn't mean anything anyway. It doesn't mean nothing. If even if you're famous, it doesn't mean anything, does it? Yeah. I mean, don't you know who I am? Well, yeah, I do know who you are. And mm. what's the point? I saw a video last week of a TikToker getting arrested and he was saying it to the police. He was like, Don't you know who I am? And it's like a couple of I'm million followers on TikTok. Yeah. yeah. Ridiculous. She set up a karaoke booth for her guests to show off their singing skills. And Ashton Kutcher happened to be amazed by one of the guests' voice. He does this like ABBA song that's like so, I, I'm like, oh my God, it's like banana. Mila and I go up to him and we're like, you're a ringer. You're definitely, you're like a karaoke ringer. You're really good, like, uh, like really good. And he's like, thanks man, I, thank you. I really appreciate that. So <laughs> we go to our friend and we go, Oh, that guy was really good, huh? And they're like, it's Harry Styles. A Brazilian tourist in <laughs> Bulgaria was curious and took a picture with a man who everyone wanted to take pictures with and had many cameras following him. Little did she know is the president of Bulgaria. Why are you reporting? You are important. I'm not so important. Nah, no, like, people are taking pictures and uh, yeah. uh, you're important. Why? I'm the president. <laughs> For the Jimmy Kimmel Show, Jennifer Lawrence was set to surprise fans on Hollywood Boulevard, but instead she found the biggest Jennifer Aniston fan. Five Jennifer Lawrence movies. Five Jennifer Lawrence movies. I know. Who is no. that bitch? He actually bought Aniston, I could tell you. Right, <laughs> Jennifer Aniston is way better than Jennifer yeah, Lawrence. No Do idea. you agree? Fine. Yeah, much yeah, better. I love her. Prettier, funnier. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah better sure. movies. Yes, yes, I yeah. love her. Yeah, overall. <laughs> yeah, great. Um, um, I'm Jennifer Lawrence. Oh. <laughs> okay, not sure why Floyd Mayweather was in a barber shop to begin with, but a rude woman was annoyed by the amount of attention he was receiving and started going after him. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. So what's the big deal? You got to tell us. Oh, I know about the bread. Lewis Hamilton is perhaps the most famous driver in Formula One, but for some reason got mad after security didn't recognize him with the helmet on. It's with Wesley's past to get through <laughs> Bernie's turnstile to get back into the past. Lamb of God's lead singer was pleasantly surprised when security for his own event didn't recognize him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for doing your job. Don't be sorry, you're doing your job. I like you. Migos rapper Offset was stopped by the police a few years ago due to having a window tent too dark for the legal limit. He did try to pull the famous card, but sadly for him, the police did not recognize him. And he even FaceTimed his lawyer and Cardi B during the whole ordeal. I'm getting, sir, I'm famous too. Cardi B's his lawyer? His He's lawyer and lawyer Cardi, Cardi B. Lawyer, I think, yeah. <laughs> what a weird combination of people to FaceTime <laughs> to prove who you are. Yeah. He can't get off that for just being famous. That's what... That's what sort of bugs me a little bit. Yeah. They yeah. say, you know, well, I've done something wrong, but I'm famous, so I shouldn't get charged or I shouldn't get done for it. Whereas I, I think, a member of the public should, but they shouldn't. I, well, I, know somebody, aware, you know? I know somebody who's bent the rules to give the police officer a ticket to an event. Right. We got away with something that's quite... Oh, no, really? Yeah. Uh, mm. Was it Philip Schofield? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, that's I, I know my rights. You said you're famous. Who are you? I'm Offset Migos. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The Matrix is one of the most successful movies of all time, generating over half a billion in the box office, and it's still quoted in pop culture till this day. Despite this, Keanu Reeves managed to successfully go incognito in public while riding on the subway, and he even gave up his seat to an older woman. With Taylor Swift's 
get, is he sort of quite famous for doing things like that? He rides the subway every day. Public apparently. transport, and that yeah. Yeah, he looks like a genuine nice guy. Doesn't he, he? he does. Yeah. 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 By all accounts, like anyone who's met him has just had I positive don't, interactions. I don't, I don't really know much about him or anything, but he just looks like a genuinely yeah, nice does. guy. Yeah, so, I mean, some of them are like that. Yeah. I mean, even Jennifer Lawrence, she's a bit of a nutball, but I think she's actually quite, quite she nice. She seems person. cool, doesn't she? Yeah, I, yeah, see, I wouldn't, wouldn't recognise her. No, I've seen her on chat shows before, and mm. she's she's usually pretty good. She usually yeah. takes the piss out of herself. She's up for a laugh, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. The, the Keanu Reeves thing, I think he's he's been through some pretty rough things yeah, you know, over life. the years. Yeah. I think he lost a kid, and yeah. then his, maybe his, his missus died or something. Like, there's been a like a, a long mm. series yeah. of things. I, mean, I think he was probably a nice guy before mm. all that, but he seems. Like, I know he lives in the states, but he don't seem to court publicity that much, really. To me, you don't see him in the papers or online no. a lot about like stories about him or anything, do you? No, he seems to sort of like because oh, Harry and Meghan take like all that space. Film, <laughs> yeah, God. probably. Yeah, I'd love to see Harry and Meghan not getting recognised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah winging her first music publishing deal at the age of 14, she's been in the spotlight ever since she was a kid. So when she visited South Korea and nobody recognized her back in 2011, she said it was a nice change of pace. Roger Federer is regarded as the biggest name in tennis history, but has faced his fair share of anonymity even at events. At the Wimbledon tennis court, which also has a member-only club inside, Federer was wanting to get a coffee with his coach, but he wasn't let in by security. Membership card, I'm like, uh... We have one. I, I don't I, because when you win Wimbledon, you become a member automatically. I still can't believe I say that because I still feel bad about it. And I'd look at her and say, "I have won this tournament eight times. <laughs> please <laughs> believe me, I am a member." Reese Witherspoon's <laughs> reputation took a big blow after official police dash cam footage was released of her husband being arrested over suspected driving under the influence, well, and she went to confront government. the police. The actress ended up being arrested for obstruction of justice that night. Yes, ma'am. Kidding me? You know my name. Not quite yet. Is it? Okay. Reese Witherspoon. You're about to find out who I am. In perhaps one of the funniest unrecognized celebrity moments, Enrique Iglesias worked a shift at Astro Burger in West Hollywood and kind of started messing with some of the customers. Hi, okay. Did I get a middle school order? Maybe. What's your place to go to? Um, Arizona. Do you live in Arizona? Why is her friend laughing? <laughs> She went to an old girls' school. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> but things quickly went downhill when fellow celebrity Amy Smart went into the store. And even though Enrique Iglesias did recognize her, she didn't and didn't appreciate his sense of humor. You are famous. That's cool. Would you ever go out with a guy that flips burgers? Yeah, but I have boyfriends though. Doesn't he flip burgers? No. How long have you been dating? Off and on, 10 years. 10 years? Off and on? Veggie burger with cheese. Don't get mad. Your burger. I'll give you a pro trust me, you'll be thanking me years Fine. from now. Okay. No, he's not. You should give him what he wants. It doesn't matter. I don't know. Just relax. I need an ass. I'm not. You're harassing everybody in here. What do you mean I'm harassing? Just, he needs a protein burger. When Lil Uzi Vert was going to make a surprise appearance at Gunna's concert, security did not recognize him and turned into a scuffle. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, when Kendall and Kylie Jenner went through the drive through at in and out either they weren't recognized or the employees decided to not make a fuss about it. Bread and grilled onions, please. And wow, same thing for me. I wouldn't recognize them. No, me neither. No, no not in the middle I'd be like, funky car. <clears throat> Pink Rolls Royce, eh? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Okay, so should we just sit in the, the thing and eat? Former NFL star Adrian Peterson was asked by a reporter his opinion about road rage so. without knowing who he was. And the reaction of the reporter when he finds out is priceless. Your name? Adrian Peterson. Hi. Wait a minute. You're not. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> Ed O'Neill's daughter jaw dropped when he sent her a picture asking who the woman in the picture is because he knew that she was famous but couldn't figure out who it was. I, I desperately need to know a name so that when I, I couldn't even say the name, you know, yeah. wonderful to meet you. And so I don't know if you have the picture. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I like it when they're funny, uh, you know, and everyone just kind of takes it. Yeah. yeah. Don't know what that Enrique like Iglesias one was, but that looked really good. It did actually, yeah. yeah. I wanted to say a bit more of that one. Yeah. Because I don't know that. I don't know who Amy Smart they said the name was. Yeah, I don't know who she I don't is. I'm not well up on it. Again, I've heard the name, but I'm not no, sure. I'm not, no, I'm not. But yeah, it looked like it was quite genuine, that one. It looks yeah. like she was getting a bit wound up by yeah. it. Look, but the way, he, the way he dealt with her, and then obviously he's he's a lot more famous than she is, I'm guessing. Oh, I'd say so, yeah. yeah I, don't, I, I don't know who she is. Don't, yeah. That doesn't mean anything, but. It's all fleeted anyway. Mm. Like, you know, someone's the most famous person in the world for five years, and 10 years later, it's 
the kids are going, who's that? Yeah. Never heard of we him. We talk about yeah, that all the time, don't we? About how superstars fall off the face. Yeah. As soon as, as, soon as they're finished and they're done, the, the drop is dramatic. Yeah. yeah. Unless you're sort of like in that public eye still. Yeah. They're done to, I'm, I'm a celebrity, aren't they? That's what they... Yeah. TV cooking shows and shit like yeah, that. Dancing yeah, on yeah. ice. Yep. Yeah. That's the I'm a celebrity. I'll just be full of YouTubers in 10 years' time. <laughs> yeah, they'll be on that. Yeah, <laughs> want to give yeah, me going it already, aren't they? Want to give me half a mil to so go on it and eat some grim food? I'll go on that. Yeah, even I'd yeah. do it for half a million. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Disgusting. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to recognise Dave if he's out and about, and we'll catch yeah. you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers.